Hi there everyone! Welcome back to another tutorial on modeling with curves. In this tutorial we are going to model a fireplace using only curves. I am going to focus on a good workflow to keep you productive. And as a bonus I will show you how to model a wall using curves. This tutorial has three parts to keep it snackable. So without further ado, let's get started with the first part. We start with the same setup we always use. Add two curves and name them appropriately, path and profile. I add a link to the video explaining this in more detail. Place them in one collection. Collections are a great way to organize your workflow. We will duplicate collections all the time, so give your collection a good name. We duplicate the base curve collection and we will model the profile of the fireplace. Now add a collection to the scene. In this collection, we will add a reference file for modeling. Add a reference image and place it in the scene. We will place it in the center and move our objects accordingly. Select the profile. Set the handles to verts. This will help your model. Avoid 90 degree corners. Add a little chamfer. Extrude and constrain to the X or Z axis. Duplicate curves to save time in your modeling. Connect separate parts with F just like you would do with poly modeling. The fireplace is made out of two parts, the top and the bottom that has an inset. Duplicate the fireplace curves collection and give it a good name. I use top and curve to indicate this is a curve profile. Delete the profile from the pod bevel and from the collection. Select the fireplace profile curve as the bevel. This way we only have one path we need to change and we will reuse the fireplace profile. Select the path and model the fireplace. We only need to model the left part. We can use a mirror modifier, but unfortunately, constructive modifiers cannot be used in curves. If your profile takes on weird forms, set the path to 2D, that should fix it. Once you model one part, we need to mirror it. Select the curve and mirror it along the X axis and 3D cursor. Make sure your 3D cursor is in the center of the scene. Shift S to the rescue. Now you can see that the curve has changed a bit. On the left side, we need to switch the direction. Press space 
and apply switch direction. Now you have a perfect mirror of the other side. We now have the fireplace, but as you can see, the bottom part is different. Duplicate the collection and rename it. Curves have this cool trick. Select the inner handles of the profile and extrude. You can constrain to an axis. This saves you a lot of time. It's like magic. Model the inset and don't worry about the duplicates. We will fix this later in part 2. I hope you have seen the power of this technique and feel free to watch my previous videos on curve modeling. If you like this video, give it a like and should you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Take care and watch the next parts of the video.